all come from Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas for a better life. For a better life? Yep. Were, yes. you, were you born here? Well, they were, they, I was born in Texas. But the, the back there, the, 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 the farms were awful bad. And there was nothing there. And they said California. So my dad said he got to California to Barley. They closed it to California because he couldn't let nobody else come in. We had too many people. And I used to repeat myself, they closed it to California again. So what was it like when you got here? What? What was it like when you got here? Do you remember that? 1932. What was it like, you Mom? Talk huh? What was it like when you got here? Bare. Everything was so bare. No houses. No, we 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 had a tent and Sherwood Garden at Sherwood. They had a tent, and that's how we started going to Salvation Army. See, I've been going to Salvation Army for sixty years. And Salvation Army came in a truck. Well, my mother was a Christian. They were Baptist. They let us come because they were Protestant. And we we got a tent. And the first tent we got the floor, and the second tent my dad got moved up on the have the a, a floor. And everybody was in a, a Sherwood Garden. Sherwood Park over here. Some people would refer to it as a Lumsford camp. If you went back in the history somewhere, and I have yet to see it, but I remember the name because I remember the name. Lumsford camp, and if I remember its spelling, yeah. it's L U M S F O R D, Lumsford camp. That's when those were, that's where the tents were, and that's where our family was. Now, is that in the, that's not in the Alice Hall, that's actually in Sherwood that's Park. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Sherwood had all that. And but how old were you when you came here? Five. You were five, so you were old enough to remember Yes. This. I remember because we came out here like the grapes of wrath in a truck. You know? My my mother's cousin, Jeff, drove us out here. And we stopped for, I think we were on the road a long time. Why'd you come to Salinas? Well, he was headed for Washington, and we had all these girls with us. And this man told my dad, Says, with this, this girl says, you'll be rich here, darling. Yes. So all my sisters went to work in a leather shed. And that's what stopped us here. We was looking for work and we found it. And we were heading for Washington. That's what Papa said he wanted to live. And because he, see, Mom was real sick. She had asthma. And they, they told her if they bring her to California, she might get well. But she didn't. And, and, um, but anyway, we stopped here. For, there was a lot of work here at one time. Tell them how many girls there were, Mom. There was there's Cecil, Bobby, well, Bobby was too young, me, and Kathleen, and Lois. Lois got, got married on that, you know, she, she met my brother in law, Roy, who ran off, got married at 15, he was 17. And that's Norma's mother. She's my favorite sister. And that, that's how, how, how we had all those girls, that they all went to work in sheds. Well, did you live long in, in the tents? What? Did you live a long time at the tents, or did you... A long time? At the tents, Mom. How long did you live well, out in Sherwood Park? We very long. We, we moved to Lunchford Drive. Then from Lunchford Drive, we lived on Spring Street. Then Pop decided to build out here. So that's how we... Oh, no, we didn't live there very long. They didn't let you live there very long. Ah. They just let you stay. I stayed long enough to get on your feet. Not to, then, then, um, th that's the way it was. But then when Roosevelt came into office, he didn't give it to us. And they, WPA, my mother was in the NAR, NRA and all. Everybody was working. He, he put them all to work. That was the problem. Me, he was coming for jobs. That was it. Being coming for nothing else. What was that? What was the connection with? Uh, what? What was the connection with the Salvation Army? How did you get so involved in the well, they, they came in a truck picking up the kids for Sunday school. And Mama being a, a, a Baptist and a Protestant, they asked my mom if we could go to me and TF and me and Bobby. So she said, yes, they say you go. But they, so we got in the truck and we fell in love with the church. My sister became an officer. So that's how we stayed. Them. They still come and see me, Bill. They bring the home legal. Well, and TF was better known to a lot of people as Tom. And Tom played the trumpet in Salvation Army Band up until almost the day he died. Well, I'll tell you something. They did a lot for people. They did a lot for people.
people that really need, they still do. I, I worked in the office for five years. I was in the office for, and I'll tell you something, they really help people. There's no doubt about it. Jerry? What? What is your recollection of the Alsal area? I remember Grandpa used to walk up and down Alsal Street a lot. Well, probably walk Yeah, down. he seemed to know everybody. Oh, yeah, well, he'd go uptown and sit up on the main street there. Everybody knew each other here. You no, know, they'd go down Main Street and sit down there on Main Street. And I worked at Woolworth on Main Street when I was in high school. And I see them old people sitting there. And I said, I never wanted to do that. <laughs> Well, I remember Papa until the day he became bedridden. I'd walk with him, you know, because because we all lived here together. And Grandpa he, was known he, as the mayor of Alsace. Yeah, he was. I'd was still walk with him. him. I called him Papa, him. but I always remember we used to walk yeah. all. We'd walk up, still walk up down South Street, and Papa would take me walks up and down the street, and everybody would greet us and everybody would say hello to him. And uh, Isn't it amazing, you wore that hat. Yeah, I always wore the hat. And, and yeah. he never wore. He never always wore a tie without a tie. Yeah. He always had a tie. My, and, and I, my dad always used to say, if you're nice to them, they're nice to you. What was his name? Thomas. Name? Thomas. Franklin Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah. And, um, but he, he knew everybody, and everybody knew him. Jerry, the Ramseys were pretty popular here. Well, there were so many of us. We are going to be well known. Well, One way or the other, because there were a whole, <laughs> bunch, there were a whole bunch of us. Bill, if you remember, Frankie and Virgil had a store on Del Monte. Yeah, talk and about Bill that. And Bill and Andrew had a store over there on Market Street. Mm -hmm. And then Bill and Carol had one over there, the store. Mm -hmm. We were pretty well copied here. The girls all got the stores and everything mm -hmm. else here. And what? his dad worked. Uh, they all liked his dad, too. Yeah. We had a real good dad. We had uh, three family members who were in the retail business. Huh? The Banning family, the Ratton family, and the Hogan family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They all had, uh, what, would you call, what would you call them, not department stores, but... Well, in those days, they, that's what you would have been, a department yeah. store. They had a variety store, variety is what store they called them in those the, days. Because yeah. the Hogan's had the big store over here on uh, Market Street. They were big. Yeah, that was actually a very big but store. Was, you know, Market Street there, it's Hogan. But it's not a furniture store, I believe. It's a bunch of store yeah. now, but we were pretty popular here, you know. Everybody, and my when my dad come out here, it, it, the kids start following him out here. He's dead, he's but signing it. They all come from Texas out here, and, and, and then they start establishing stores and everything. Jerry, when you were when you were here and you started going to grammar school, yeah. What school did you go to? The first school uh, when we lived on Lunch we got went to Roosevelt. Okay. Then we moved to Spring Street. I went to Lincoln School. I hated that school. <laughs> and then we moved out here. Sherwood School opened up. I moved to Sherwood. Then I went to Washington. Then I graduated from Salinas High, 43. And that's, that's then I went to Alameda. And I think it's interesting you speak of Lumsford Avenue. What? And I talk about Lumsford Camp. Certainly the, the, the correlation. Whatever it was, yeah. that's what it tends for. So one of the things I'd like to know, uh, I remember, um, uh, what are their Did names? you grow up here? I grew up in Watsonville, uh, but my father worked in Salinas for years. Um, and I re remember people talking about in the 1930s, people coming from the Dust Bowl were living, there were areas where there were shacks, almost like Steinbeck described in the Grapes of Wrath, the Hoovervilles. Mm -hmm. Was there something like that actually? Oh, I, we came like the Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> we're talking about where you lived. Like, were there little shacks that people lived in when they first came out here? The tent. Yeah. You know, the tents, like they, you know, like to come up in the circuit or something. They had tents. The first ones with the tents with the dirt floor. Then you get a little bit more money and you move up to the wood floor. And those were tents that were provided by the government or the Salvation Army for people yeah, for a short period. The Salvation Army came around to bring them to Sunday school. But, how did about, but who, who provided the tents, Mom? Mr. Sherwood. Mr. Sherwood did. And how long were people allowed to stay in those tents? Well, you stayed there till you got on your feet. And Pop didn't like it there because my dad was very proud. And he, and he we went to lots for drive. Pop saved up his money, he moved us to Lockwood. Then we moved to Spring Street. Pop says, we're going to take you out of here. I remember that. Him and 
telling us that we're going to take us out of here. He wanted us kids to have something better. And we did. When the other part of the Ramsey family came and we uh, were two months coming out here from Texas. And My sister what, what Mary, you? your, 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 your cousin you Mary. Born out here? Pardon me? Was you born in Kentucky? I was born here. But, but, I, but Mary wrote the story about the tent. And if you remember the story, they were, they were camped out in Arizona in a tent. And there had been a breakout in the prison, however close they were to the prison. So the officers of the day came by and told Mary and all the kids and my mother to stay in the tent because they had this trouble. And Mary goes on to write, I wonder what protection we would have had from that tent. Because it was, <laughs> yeah. you weren't protected from anything. And so I would imagine that those of us, my family too, when we lived in the tent, it was only until you could get on your feet and find a house. Mm -hmm. You, you talked to me quite a bit about your your teenage years and your pre-teenage years out here, just just doing whatever you did. And, and your teen years, Mom. Yeah. Your your teen years and your pre-teen when you were a kid from you know twelve on. Well, well, we moved here. I, I moved just here. I just spend your time. We moved here thirty six, and I was in sixth grade in that Lincoln school, and then we moved over here. And I, our first sixth grader to show which school. Well, I have to throw, I throw in there because she said about a Lincoln school. Yeah. I was at Lincoln school when it closed the first time, which was about six years ago. And they were going through all the registers. And I found my mom in the register at Lincoln school. And where they had her address listed as, it was uh, Spring Street, it said Little Oklahoma. That was how where they put the area right after it. So they actually no, no, mentioned it. Is it, it mentioned as Little Oklahoma? So that was how they were. They were all. And you go down the register, and the number of kids that said it said Little Oklahoma after. Astounding! It's just there was quite a few. Is Spring oh, Street? Yeah, well, everybody knew it. Everybody. Yes, it's right off of of um, what's over the railroad tracks. John Abbott. John John Street. Whatever it best. Bruce, if you were trying to find an identifying area to memorialize the Oklahoma, the Grapes of Wrath, the Yokies. Oh, John Stein made me fun of where, where would you Where would you identify? You, you, when you were a kid out here, mm -hmm. Al Sal was still full of a whole bunch of Yokies. Yes, it was. It was. It was. It was just starting to be a mix. I think we. we I, I. I'm. I'm at Sherwood School. That's kind of. I've gone full circle. I went to school at Sherwood School, and now I'm finishing up my career at Sherwood School. But the picture I found for me in fifth grade was this great mixture of of kids who were the next generation of the Okies who came out here, and the first part of the Hispanic wave that first came out here. I remember showing people I worked. I go, look, this is me. And they go. My goodness, where all those blonde, blue-eyed kids come from in the picture, you know? Because now you wouldn't see that in Sherwood School. What year would that have been? Uh, I was in fifth, fifth. One we found was for me in 1959, and I was he in went fourth from grade. Kindergarten up to sixth grade, and then you went to Catherine over there. Yeah, so I got kind of gone full circle with it. Well, and, and when you speak of, of the time frame that you remember, mm -hmm. I grew up a little further out, and I left home in, in 1950. And my dad lived there until about 1953 or 1954 or so. We were still prominent on the Okies out here. Right. The Hispanic movement was beginning. Mm -hmm. was Just there. starting. But uh, heck, I remember out of Midway Avenue, my dad living there through almost all of my years in the Korean War, during the Korean War. Uh, so we were still a bunch of blue-eyed blondes or whatever we were out here. Yeah. It was it, it was amazing to see to go through the the book that we found hidden away in in one of the back rooms and all the, the how, how we could watch the the population change from even when I was there as to where it is now. So if we're looking at the period of the 1930s, that period mm -hmm. that Steinbeck writes about in the Grapes of Wrath, and so we picture ourselves here. If we tried to find maybe two or three places that were the most significant places in the Alice South during that period, that might be a productive way to go about finding a place to put a marker. Maybe there was a, a community room where everybody hung out. Maybe it was the Salvation Army. I mean, because they did so much work for people. You know, this was where maybe this, 
where did you guys hang out? Where were the important places in the LSL then? We're at, like I say, the local home lunch pad for the teenagers. I but we played on the streets here. And then there was the corner. This man made a baseball plot before they built a the house. He made a diamond box for us to play baseball on the corner of uh, Felice and uh, we we were really happy. We weren't really poor. Uh, we were poor, but we were happy kids. We were real happy. Kids. So the baseball diamond was the corner of Felice. Right at the Felice corner. Market. And market. The, the, yeah, and the, they made way for us kids, you know. And that's why I feel so sorry for this generation now. Well, mom, when you first got out here on this street. There was just you and the house across the, the one on the one on the little court. Yeah, there was just you and the, there were just two houses here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how many other houses were there in this whole, whole three well, or Hebert four blocks? Street, Herbert Street. Did Herbert Street have yeah. houses? Oh yeah, Herbert. Old man Herbert was a, a contractor. He went police, and boy, they built houses one right after another. And I was popping to had and holiday, the holiday. They had, he was a good contractor too. Mm-hmm. They they come out here from Oklahoma, empty pockets. They went out with a full pocket. That was their motto. And they made it. But I'll tell you one thing. One thing the people bought them. The people bought these houses. And, he, and Moana bought that one on the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was not, she bought that in 1937. So it was a year after you guys built yeah, this one. Sonny was born in 39. And it, well, they, they really put up the houses. People bought them. So you were mentioned it was called the Little Oklahoma Lunch Fountain. Is that what? what it was called? The place where you had the Little Oklahoma Lunch Fountain, is that what it was called? Yeah, Little Oklahoma Lunch Fountain, the corner of Madeira and Alisal. Then they had to put a duck pin bowling ball across the street. A bush kid, Tina, we were ran out of Pep's Creamery up in town. They wouldn't let us in there because we lived out there. The Pep's Creamery was a hanging, a hangout place. For, for high school kids, and where it was, was right across from the Fox Theater. Mm-hmm. So was they wouldn't let you hang out. There. There. I think it's, I think it's Dudley's now. Is that where Dudley's is? Yeah. Kind of embarrassed yeah. to tell them we lived out here because the city kids was was terrible with us. And, but uh, we, uh, we, and then for the next one, we decided to have our own hang. And Mister that guy that owned it, he was really nice with us. And he said, "You kids, as long as you don't tear it up, he said, you, you can just get out here." And this was the little Oklahoma yeah. lunch fountain? The local home fountain. And what year was that that the kids were hanging out there? It, that was, well, I graduated in 43. And that was, the, they first started in about 44, I think. 44. So we're looking for something back in 1936, during the Dust Bowl period here. So let's kind of go well, back that there. Started, that, was only, that was started when the high school kids. Mm-hmm. We kept playing. We couldn't hang out at Pips anymore. So that man put it up for us, and then they put a duck pin ball for us. Mm-hmm. And we, we had a good time. So what did you do before this? The when you guys were out here in the, in the late thirties, Mom, from well, about thirty six to thirty nine, where did you guys hang out? We didn't hang out nowhere. What did you do? What did you do every day when you weren't going? We to kept, we played baseball. Yeah, that's what we played baseball. That's Boys why I girls. love it today. I still like baseball. <laughs> boys and girls played baseball together. Was it both boys and girls, Mom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The boys was, was big time boys. This girl for time girl. We, we, we hung with the boys. And did you play? But it was it was no romance. They were just playing. <laughs> did you have teams? Did you separate out into teams? Huh? You had teams. Did you play on teams? Oh no no. We just played among ourselves. That's all. The boys had their team, and the girls had you. We played among each other. So you, know, you know where I got my baseball skills from, huh? There was there was no problem. See? It's played just about every day. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, those days the parents were strict. If I got in trouble at school, boy, I got it at home. And that's the way it was. And we knew if we, if we got the, and our parents said what they said. And I got the plenty of times I got the belt. Because <laughs> we do better to, to break. But nowadays the kids do it than they want to do. <laughs> Thank goodness for that, don't it? <laughs> and where you're trying to get to 1936, and you're I'm trying, trying to, to get into that era. Yeah, we're trying to get 36 to 39 yeah. here. Where did the adults hang out? What else? I like the baseball. That that could be an interesting. Yeah. Place. yeah. What else? 
Well, uh, the kids didn't hang out like that. But what about, days. where did the adults hang, Mom? Where did, like, Grandpa and, and, and where did uptown, they Uptown, uptown on Main Street. So the, the, nothing around here? No, no, they walked uptown. And then they go to Front Street Park. They had the Front Street Park. Well, we all stopped at the Front Street Park. Everybody did. Yeah, remember there that? There was a bathroom there. There was a merry-go-round. There was nothing. There was nothing. Oh, uh, we're tiny and the lumber is, yeah. It's just that little thing, but that didn't start until our teenagers complained about that town. But we never hang out things like that. We just played ball in the streets. We played all over the world. We, we played everything. That's, what, we played marbles. Where was the? Where did you play baseball? Right at the just corner there. At the Police corner. and Market, yeah. she said. Yeah. yeah. So you played so, marbles and what else? Marbles did you play? I think I remember you said kick the can. can, right? Kick the can. Kick the can. Yeah. I couldn't describe you how to play that game anymore, but that's what we played. <laughs> and and we just we just I don't know we just played that was it. I think you you have to create an environment that's different from what you think. This area was spread out. There wasn't a focal point. There wasn't uh, Al Sol didn't have a main street like Salinas has a main street. And it wasn't until quite a bit later that they built the uh, Al Sol. Uh, Theater. Right. Somewhere in the 40s, Bruce. Somewhere yeah, because I remember going to the Alice Theater, theater as a kid. Yeah, I also remember going to the last movie theater, movie, movie they showed yeah. there. Uh, That's where the Alice L. Swap Meet is now. Uh, on Alice L. Street. It used to be the Alice L. Theater. Yeah, so there wasn't there wasn't a focal point in the Alice L. It was spread out, you know. People were just... You, asked, was no you, fences, you mentioned no something fences, about nowhere. people hanging out. You remember I mentioned the 526 Club? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Whiskey Hill. Uh -huh. And I told the girls, I said, yeah, you have to understand the time frame. These guys were, those are the, those who like to fight and drink, uh, and they were tough. And they worked their tails off in these leather sheds. Uh -huh. There was no fences. There was no fences. We have Jefferson Street next to the world. We, we run, we, we have races, race each other all the time. Well, if you've ever seen any pictures from that era, third, 36 on, if you've got any kind of aerial photos or anything of that type, you'll notice there are big gaps. There's there's a lot of huge, lot of fields, a lot of spaces. The houses were further apart, you know, not the uh, the density that you have now because there weren't apartments. Can you roll this out here right now? Yeah, what I gave them was a map, and it's interesting, Jerry, you were talking about Maybe we could put names around well, the map. Well, half of the streets are just Africa. What we have here, this is a map of Spain in 1935. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And when you begin to look at it, it takes you a while to get organized. But once you begin to look at it, you find, okay, here's Market Street, and then, and then it just stopped. Right. Because, because oh, it, yeah. it, it didn't get out of here. Because this was all just fields and leafy spaces. Is this our town? Well, no, let's say that This is more uh, north, north main side. Let, let, let us get organized. Here. Yeah. Where are we now? Just let us get organized. All right. This let's is Market see. Street. This is Market Street. Lincoln. Okay, so. Well, you're getting closer. Here's Front Street here. So what you're here basically so, you're looking at Alice Al is this area over yeah. here. Here's Merced Street and Griffin Street and Neal Street. And Alice Street. And Alice Al with the Alice Al Road in those days. Yeah. But, uh, well, you know what this is, Bill? This is the railroad tracks. This is this is basically was the divider. This is basically this area here was where the railroad. This is the divider between what was Little Oklahoma and and uptown. The other side of the track. Other side of the tracks. Right. This is basically where you know if you lived on the other side of the railroad tracks, where the underpass goes now under Alice that was strictly. A railroad well, track. There was no underpass. When we lived on Spring Street, we had the railroad tracks right behind us. Yeah, so and that was really the divider. Mama used to feed the, uh, the barns. They, they called hobos. Mama used to feed them. They, they, they had the train, mm -hmm. and our house was shaped like the train when we lived on Spring Street. Now, I left that over there. Me and my brother school. cried because we had to move out here. We liked it there, but I didn't like school. Why did you like, why didn't you like Spring Street? What? Okay. I, I liked it because yeah. it, 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 they had the, everything there, you know, they had the good trees, the tracks, and they had everything, which worked right over to the end. We liked it, but I didn't like Lincoln School. 
Why they not? had Mrs. McGregor. She was mean. Oh, I've heard of Laura McGregor. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, where'd she be? I've heard of her. No, Mrs. Her. Linhart was another one. El Paso Place. That's Sixth I'm grade. Saying. I was glad. But Mrs. Lewis was my teacher over in Sherwood. She was one of the sweetest teachers. Sure was, she was flowers and everything. Four. Four. I didn't learn very much. Bruce, I don't remember whether you remember what I would say Grandpa used to talk about. I love Washington School. We're talking about Little Oklahoma Mrs. and, and, and the Shanty, Shanty Town. Uh, my oh, just a minute. Let's, we won't be able to record this. Since we oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever, whichever two you want to go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Bill. I remember Market Street, and I remember the shacks mm -hmm. on Market Street, and it's just about... Well, you you know when it starts to come up the hill ever so slightly. Do you? That was long before your time, so you wouldn't have any sense for that area. But a lot of those were still left when I was a kid, because some of my friends lived in some of that area. Those we used to refer to them as courts, because they not only did they front the street, but they also went back in into the back where there was a little small, usually one, but best one bedroom shacks or shanties or, or courthouses as we refer to them. like there was one right here on on east street just where these this three-story apartment is that used to be a court also if they had campbell's court camel's court that's what it was called because the camels owned they it they had a court you know they stood, and i don't know why they tore it down there was like cabins there were cabins oh. and this just woman had from oklahoma and, and these people come from oklahoma they had cab they lived in these cabins and she tried to rent and she had a great big house mrs campbell did well, the reason why they tore it down is because somebody from Monterey bought the property and knew he could make more money off apartments than he could and off the little... Uh, Iran bought it. He wanted to buy the whole street here. Nope. Nobody else wanted oh, to this, sell it. This is pretty amazing. Here. You know, Bruce, it okay. is. I haven't seen this before. It, well, it, I it's, had, low, it's a low income. I had it my I pay 500 a month. That's all I pay. That's amazing. And I'm taking you to the lake. You you'll find the name, and there will be somewhere if you look. Are we on this room. map? Uh, well, we there. It, it's not on there now. Uh, this this is. But are we, we on? Is the place where we are? Yes, it would be. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> no, I think it's too far out. Well, here's here's Hebron Park. Okay. So it'd be in that area. Right it would there. be right in this area, right in here. But you yeah. see, you notice what's funny is 1935. See, the city of Salinas did own a parcel of land here. Because it's the city of Salinas, which meant that they owned that piece, but they didn't own anything else. So it would, it would be roughly in this area about here where, where 1936 is when they started coming in and building the houses. Yeah. So, because um, you're looking at, at the area of Merced Street and some of these that are basically still around. And I see here it says uh, Cynthia, uh, Eugenia Hebron, and Nellie Sherwood own this property over here. Hebron owned a huge area here. So, it's the Hebron Heights. Hebron, that's the Hebron Heights. And right. Mr. Sanborn, Sanborn Road, he's another one. Oh, here too. Look at how much Hebron. He, he owned Mr. quite a Sanborn? bit. What? Who was Mr. Sanborn? Do you know? Who was Mr. Sanborn, Mom? What? Who was Mr. Sanborn? He was the boy that built his precious on Sanborn Road. And that Sanborn School, which they should have, they changed the name. That yeah. was the real, that's a, that man built a lot of places. And he was a, a nice man. Now, he's from Oklahoma, too. He, come out, he said he'd come out here with empty pockets and went home with full pockets. They were smart people. They were contractors in their mind, but they they never went to school or anything how to build houses, but knew how. But they were nice people. My dad knew them all. My dad, you could get my dad on a section, never get him off of it. Tell me something. Did was there places where people would sit around, like on the front porches, and tell stories around here? Oh yeah, that's why I built this back the porch. Oh, but they built Main Street. They, 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 built, they had this Michael Awards and all. Well, they had benches there. These old men would sit down there on Main Street and talk about what's happening here. So, in terms of the Alisal, I'm keep going back because we need to find a space on the ground in the Alisal. Yeah, and that's so inside the Alisal. I know that. There's got to be a place that people congregated. Maybe it's the porch of some woman who told particularly good stories. That could be an interesting place to mark. You know where, you know where Matt Donald is? Uh, no. Where Matt Donald oh, no, so. That was a cattle ranch. Is that where people gathered, Mom? 
No. Well, yeah. Mom, okay, here's the thing. She's, people did. I know, Mom. She's looking for a spot where people out here, when they didn't go downtown, they would gather out here. There had to be some spot where, okay, we're not going downtown today. Let's all meet here. Was there well, a, I don't know what it is. Somebody, yeah. Somebody's house. Uh, no, they, they get it at the church. I remember that. They had the Pentecostal church, the Baptist church. On, on the Baptist church was on Alice Island, and Pentecostal was on the, uh, what's the next street over from, um, from uh, Marcus Street? Well, there's Market, then there's, uh, you mean this was Roosevelt, or the other side where there's uh, Carr? Pop, no. What's the name of that street? Well, there's Carr Street.